Hello everybody, how you doing today? It's Superfiend here. Welcome back to our legendary Techless campaign, the Order of the Lore Masters, where we are almost out of enemies. We've really just got kind of Nagaron left. Let's take a look here. Uh, Lothern and Nagaron are pretty close in terms of settlements, uh, but somehow Nagaron is much more powerful than us than Lothern is. Lothern is also having a, uh, come on, Lothar is having a bad time here in Ulthuan. They have lost almost half the continent, and they're still at war with scaling, which I could never figure out why they didn't destroy them. However, however, if we look down here, we're at war with some of these rogue armies and scaling, and of course, Nagaron. And then not much else, and there are no more lizards, and there are no more dwarves. So, so, what does that mean for the campaign? Let's, um, how do I, here it is. What does that mean for us? It means we could take these two armies down here and, gosh, um, you know, settling any of this is not going to be worthwhile, uh, nor would it be worthwhile to settle in here. We'll let we'll let the AI, Lothern, take these uh, provinces if they decide to do so, and with their bonus to growth and all that, um, the unpleasant climate won't hurt them so much. But we can now take the armies that we have down here. That would be this army here and Belashane here, and we can move them up north, and we can help... Um, fend off Ulthuan from Nagaron and get rid of them. And maybe, just maybe, we can swing over and wipe out Scaling as well with those two armies. Now, over here, over here, we have Varan and a nice little army here. Pretty decent. Let's get out of the uh, diplomacy screen. Okay, so we have Varan here with a pretty decent army. We got some Phoenix Guard. We got a couple nobles. And we got some archer, dragon princes, dragons, and frostheart phoenixes. We can take this army north. Uh, originally, I had planned to bring it down here towards the Great Turtle Isles to start our ritual, but I think I think we kind of want to get Nagaron backpedaling a little bit. And we've got Teclas and Mayron over here. And then who's this? This is Elena. She's got a decent army too. So we are at a point in the campaign when we've got good armies, and we're in a good position to like fight back against Nagaron now. Elena's going to stay over here, uh, and that's going to prevent this army and or this army from just, like, dropping down over here and causing problems for us. We don't want that. Up here, we got a pile of agents. So we can we can block army. We, we may want to do that. This is also a mage. Uh, you're the noble. What are you? You are also a noble. So we can, let's see. Uh, we could assault units. Now, if we assault units, it will keep them in the settlement. True son of Ulthuan. And I'm just trying... Uh, 29... 79%. The enemy yeah, let's do it. Okay, success. Ridiculous. So, they're going to stay in the settlement and Your keep command. replenishing. Now, with her, we'll go ahead. We'll try to do block army, and that will prevent them from going anywhere significant, you know, even if they I wanted to. And then here with this guy, we'll secure Smash some influence. Uh, because why not, really? And we've got all the blue abilities with him, and we've already got this uh, this deal here. Let's get the Great Eagle. Dark -hearted fools. Okay. And no more skill points to spend there. Now, up here, this is a Black Ark, because it's an Admiral. And they are starting to... They've resettled uh, Iron Peaks. And so we want to take that back away from them. But first, I'm thinking we want to come over here and raise this. Protector of Elf. Now, Mung is at war with Nagaron as well. And we don't really know what Mung is going to do. It's kind of hard to say. But. What news? Uh, okay, so the way we avoid attrition with the High Elves is to use the Encamp Stance. We do have a thing in here that gives immune to attrition, but we have to wait 18 turns before we can activate that again. And that really sucks. We're going to go in here, and we're going to ask these guys for military access so we don't accidentally piss them off uh, too much by wandering through their lands. Moving out. Moving out. And Teclas has got quite a movement range on him, so let's see. My steps are guided. Make them count. Your bidding. Now, I'm trying to decide which way we want to go with these armies, because there's this force here. We have no idea what's in it. Uh, Nelosi. And then Sid Fang Shield. And then this is a tier two settlement. I serve the Phoenix King. Now, I don't know if we could move into the water and assault this all on this turn. And if we go into the water and we can't assault it this turn, like if we end up somehow 
uh, as a navy, then we're gonna get wiped between these two. So it's like it's real risky to go into the water in this game. I don't like to do it. Uh, down here, Varon. We're gonna get her cruising north. So we're gonna go into a march stance. And we should be able to move straight out of this port uh, over into this port because they are both our allies. So let's uh, let's see about doing that. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And we did some agent recruitment. We could do a mage or a lore master or a noble. Let's go down here and see if we got any more of those neat little entrepreneurs. Uh, recruit hero. Let's see. What are the uh, the good lore masters? The ones that cost 40 influence. Magic item drop chance, 25%. Chance of intercepting an army using the underway. That's not going to really come in handy for the rest of the campaign, but... Otherwise, this uh, the cellophane is pretty good, actually. That's a pretty decent hero. Now, over here, we got Conductor and Genius, which gives us um, research. Increased research rate. Uh, protective. I mean, that stuff's kind of okay. Ah, here we go. Entrepreneur income from all buildings, 30%, and tax rate, 3%. Faction wide. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick up Bell Lakay, a light mage over here in this province. A promising charge. And, you know, what do we what do we want to get for this person? I feel like it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll do scouting, cleanse corruption, block army, and then we'll just drop two points into the magic missile. And we didn't look at the noble yet. We got 112 influence remaining, so we could get a decent noble if one happened to appear. But I'm not liking the uh, the looks of these guys. And we're at our mage capacity. Uh, this guy's actually he's really good. <laughs> he's really good. Uh, melee defense 12 percent or plus 12 for phoenix units. And the magic item drop chance and the income for post-battle loot are nice boosts. Really nice boosts. Let's look at uh, what we can build. We can uh, build up over here. And we're going to want to go ahead, I think, and get the growth. We want to get growth going pretty quickly. It's a shame that uh, Lothern has taken Serpent Coast and we can't do a commandment here. An edict, commandment, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we want to get, uh, get this built up. Uh, so we can get to level 2 here and level 2 here, and that's going to allow us to um, uh, build a second growth building and get public order buildings both slots. And until we do so, we can't really move this guy out of here because the settlement as a whole is only at plus 2 public order. Now, Belashane's a different story. We can move him pretty much anywhere we want. And Belashane's army is immune to attrition. The Priest of Vault. God, how did we get this? Do we not have more of them? We might have gotten that from, from that one right. Which we can also uh, do right now. So let's see. We're going to uh, cruise this way. Bell Shane. I think we're going to go in here. We're going to go ahead. We're going to perform this. Yeah, Priest of Vault. This is the Invocation of Vault. So we may have gotten it from this. A Dilemma will offer a powerful magic item. The rest of this stuff I don't really care about. So let's see if we can get another one of those uh, trinkets that gives us um, immune immunity to attrition. Okay, upkeep, minus 10% for all units. Uh, minus 30% uh, attrition. Not bad, upkeep, uh, minus 10% upkeep, not bad. Okay, we got a vortex, uh, two uses, 90 seconds apart. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, the winged boots, missile resistance, maybe, yeah, that, that could be good too. Um, physical resistance, and what is this? Holy cow. 11% physical resistance map-wide. Oh, so we didn't get anything in here that is uh, immunity to attrition. And we're kind of okay financially. So 11% physical resistance for everybody on the map. Yeah, we're going to get that. Okay, so that is the diamond... Guardian Phoenix, that's a talisman. Of 
We're going to want to give that to somebody in here. And why don't you have a hand weapon? We should give you a hand weapon. Uh, do we got any of those nice ones that boosts everybody around us? <laughs> uh, this, this, this guy's in a chariot. Otherwise, we could do an elven steed. So, hmm. What's his regular melee damage? Melee attack? 29, 23. Like, really not that great. Weapon strength is... So we get, like, an extra... Uh, I don't know, 10 weapon strength. Oh, well, 11. Ooh. That somehow made it worse. Our weapon strength went down. Oh, and then it went back up. Oh, here we go. Here's... Five weapon strength. Uh, come on, it. Okay, no, we're gonna do the uh, the giant blade. I I think it's gonna increase to three something. Okay, so. Uh, you know, I really don't use that ability very much. So what else? What else might we like here? Yeah, I remember this. This gives the uh, the regeneration, which is also problematic. Fear and terror could be nice. Potion of strength, potion of toughness. Missile resistance could be good. Yeah, you know what? We're going to change this to uh, missile resistance. And we got the, the ward save here. We could do Armor of Fortune, which is slightly less ward safe, but also gives us the um, physical resistance, and this allows him to be sneaky and get close. This unit can move hidden in any terrain, unspottable. This unit can hide at its current location. It will not be spotted until the enemy is very close. That's if it can hide. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Vanguard deployment. This is not a unit that will really benefit from Vanguard deployment. Oh, now, now we're down in units or items that are used by other people. Okay, so here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to give this guy the Armor of Fortune instead. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to keep him with the uh, with the Gambler's Armor. I take it back. We're going to take this away, though. And we're going to give everybody everybody on the map, this whole army, is going to get an extra 11% uh, physical resistance. Now, when we look at here at these two, charge. we've got Ward Save, Armor of Fortune, Physical Resistance. I, I mean, these guys will, like, they'll never die. <laughs> They're so strong. They will be so strong. Uh, affects enemies in range. Th these guys tend to get units like clumped up on them, so maybe, maybe reducing magic resistance for things that are clumped up on them would be better than causing fear or terror. Others and then this guy here, map-wide increased missile damage. And that's pretty good because we got a bunch of um, these guys here. But. Oh, this, they've also got Trickster Shard. Hmm. You know, let's give him the Trickster Shard as well. He's also got one of those 11, per, um, uh, the Diamond Guardian Phoenix things. So that's great. I think he'll do better to have the Armor of Fortune over that other armor. And we don't have anything we can give him here. Um, immune to Attrition, Lord's Army. You know what? Uh, we don't need that here. Because we've already got it on Bella Shane. Ooh, let's make sure that I'm not doing anything else like that. Yeah, we don't need the Priestess of Isha here. Others sing their praises. Uh, yeah, okay, we don't need any of that. I have heard their abilities praised. Um, Bella Shane is never, he's never really near his allies. Uh, this is constant though. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's all right. 
Would we give him... Because I think Bella Shane's going to be up fighting Nagaron um, kind of like as a vanguard before any of our other units. So I want to make sure that he is uh, well-equipped to be up there. Yeah, the rest of the stuff is about where we need it. The Raven Keeper and the Tracian Scout aren't that useful anymore because it's like chance of spotting nearby enemies. Potion of Healing is good. Uh, this is all good. Yeah, I guess I'm happy with that. And the armor, Destiny, great armor. Makes him very strong. Uh, so now we could pop over here. Let's see. Instead of Missile Resistance, do we want to do the Enchanted Spyglass for the increased missile damage? I think we want that instead. We don't want to lose the increased missile damage. Now, since we have freed up an item that gives immunity to attrition, we can go ahead and give that to somebody else that's in an area where we have lots of attrition. Uh, but before we do that, let's just make sure that there's no like real easy uh, low-hanging fruit here. Like, like, do any of these guys have, heard their have immunity to attrition items on them? Okay, I doubt that she does. She, actually, she's got nothing. Oh, we need to give her something. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we're going to give her the Bane Shield. And we'll give her this bonus versus large. And then... We'll go ahead, we'll give her this Amulet of Foresight. It's not that spectacular. The Book of Embers. Uh, Bounce Spell, Fiery Convocation, we'll do that. And then we need to give our guys uh, some decent stuff in here. We're gonna be fighting Dark Elves, so I guess Magic Resistance is not bad. And, oh, let's see, what else can we do? Uh, melee defense plus 10 for dragon units. I think it literally means dragons and not dragon princes, but it's hard to say. Sorry, I know this is like probably really boring right now. Uh, let's see, what else? We'll do another uh, magical resistance. And we do have two dragons, so it would not have been a bad idea to give uh, her that thing that gives bonuses to magic or to dragon units. Now, what about in here? Do these guys... Well known. We got a bard, a raven keeper, court attendant. I want to make sure Mage of that none of these uh, heroes are holding on to an item that could give us immunity to attrition. Because we, we really kind of like need that right now, if we can get it. You know, quit bobbing up and down. Ah, oh, what about this guy up here? Brave son of First, we'll go ahead. We'll secure some influence. He gained a skill point. We got all the goodies down here. We'll go ahead and... Do we have Im Im immortality? We do. We'll get him his horse. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's another one over here. What are you holding on to? Did I give you, are you holding on to anything that we need somewhere else? And then what about these guys? Probably not, right? Probably not. I wouldn't imagine that I gave them anything at all. Because they're really just here to uh, keep our provinces wealthy. Yeah. Oh, and then if I wanted to save just a little bit of money, I could take them out of their chariots, right? Sing their praises. Although I don't think I'm paying upkeep for those when they're um, in an, you know, on the map as an agent, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Okay, let's see. What else do we got? What else do we got? Phoenix King. Yeah. Okay. So one of these armies, Guardian of the one of these armies, we could make immune to attrition, but not bull. Ah, that really hurts. I want it to be bull.
What about you? Promising charge. Oh, we're not going to need that anymore. Uh, we got another one of those 11% physical resistance map wide. Uh, let's see. We don't need Cloak of the Beards on this guy. Now let's give him Potion of Toughness. A little bit of healing if uh, if he starts to get in trouble. And then what about over here? I kind of feel like this is the better army to make immune to attrition. So we'll put the Priestess of Isha in here. All right, that that was a long detour. Okay, so do we have anything else that we can move? Yeah, that was a long detour. Yeah, we can't really move that guy yet. Uh, we can't, she's kind of stuck. All right, there we go. Oh, they're going to take it. Oh, no, no, that's, this is Lothern still. Okay, good. Lothern just knocked out um, an entire Nagaron fleet, or a Black Ark. I didn't really notice which it was, but... And Nagaron, or um, Lothern looks strong enough to take back Vol's Anvil. They're moving in to take that up there. Uh, so, see, with the, uh, with the Dwarves and the Lizardmen completely obliterated... Um, Lothern can now just focus solely on defeating Nagaron and maybe Scaling. So hopefully we'll see some better uh, managing of their lands up in Ulthuan. But ooh, ouch. Okay, that was bad. That was real bad. Oh, they're going to lose that. Oh boy. Well, the good news is is we could then take some of the lands in Ulthuan for ourselves. Because um, it looks like Lothern's going to start losing a lot of that territory. And Belashane's going to be the first uh, the first responder up there. And his army's tough. He's got tough agents. I'm, I'm pretty sure Belashane can handle whatever they got up there for us. But if we get completely overwhelmed by like three or four armies, then, you know, that won't, that won't be so good. Okay, I don't need to see the rest of this. Nothing you can say will dampen my hate. Uh, they want us to be friends. That, that'd be a very odd turn of events, lore-wise, to be friends with them. Okay, so their one army um, has taken the replenishing outside. The other army's inside here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to assault units over here. Disciplining the enemy. Oh, we, we just want to keep these guys weak. Uh, where's the other one? Here's our mage. I am ready. Here's our other lord, and we want to get the army that's inside, and we want to try to assault units. Only 57% chance. We did succeed, and we did some uh, decent damage in there. Now with her, what we want to do, um, the smaller force, I don't think is going to go anywhere. But we want to try to block this army and keep them from going anywhere if we can. True son of Ulfwan. Yep. So we'll go ahead. We'll get the steed, the horse, the mount. Noble lord. Others this guy's hard to click praises. on because of his bird. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll get the chariot. Your request. Yeah. Okay. Good. We'll pop up here. We'll secure influence really fast. Awaiting orders. Destruction. And we'll just keep on that. Uh, down here in the Great Turtle Isles, we'll go ahead, we'll move this mage. You can hang out right there. And we'll look at what we can uh, currently recruit. Okay, so we still got this guy. Uh, we still got that guy. He hasn't changed. Not worried so much about them. We're at our capacity for mages and... 
Now this guy could be good. <laughs> this guy could be good too. And they're both pretty nice. Oh boy. A anyways, though, we we've got pretty much all of our slots like filled out, so we're not going to gain too much from recruiting them. Oh no, it's going to eat up a bunch of movement transitioning. Okay, well let's see if we can get into the water so the next turn we could maybe get back onto the shore up here. Um, we're going to go ahead, we're going to set up right here. We're going to ambush. Maybe that will draw them like down here. Maybe they'll attack it or something. I don't know. Okay, we got an incoming force. Speak. Okay, Mayron is now immune to attrition. Your will is done. Which means we could do fuddy. Uh Their skill is well known. Immune to attrition. Lord's army. They're suffering attrition. Uh. I have heard their abilities praised. Uh, let's take away Herbalist and... Let's go find that item. Why? Why are we not immune to attrition? We should be. We should be immune to attrition. Uh, let's do it this way. Let's take it away the from you. Of truth. Uh, Priestess of Isha. Boop. Maybe we have to give Promising it to him uh, directly. Okay, well, apparently we need to wait a turn. Thanks a lot. Onward. But we're going to bounce up to here. Camp. Techless. Your word is my command. Starting my journey. I rest here. Okay, so... Not a bad army. They're, they're pretty heavy on the melee. <laughs> Thankfully, these guys don't have shields, although they do have the dragon cloaks, which give them pretty good armor. Uh, but they don't have any special, like, block chance. So if we manage to net them, we, we could probably melt most of them with Teclas's army. So we'll see what happens over there. Uh, turning taxes on and off, I was just seeing if it affected our growth, and it does not. Uh, Bell Shane still replenishing because we're in allied territory. Now, uh, what we want to do is we probably want to come up over here. Traveling. Yeah, so I'm thinking we're just going to head that way, Bell Shane. Okay. I'm techless. Oh, and I just saw I we're a little bit negative income per turn right now. That's not good. Uh, we can't afford it, though. We can afford it just fine. We get a lot of money in our treasury. Okay, Lothern. Okay, they managed to take back one of their gates. They're laying siege at that port settlement. They're not doing so hot down here in the southwest of Ulthuan, though. They do have some strong forces uh, down there in Lustria that they can start to move north, and I imagine they'll they'll do so. Uh, that army is not prepared to fight everything that's going on over there at Nagaron. Although if they can get into Angurial, maybe they could hold um, hold this province and stop Nagaron from expanding towards the east, and maybe buy Belashane some time to get there. Okay, what do we got here? Tried to wound us and failed. Okay, we got another force coming down uh, from the south. Probably going to take about seven or eight turns to get here. They've committed a force to the water. And they're kind of holing up a little bit. And they do have a force there that can kind of come in from the backside and take away some more of Lothern's territory. We'll go ahead. We'll ignore what these guys are doing. We could give these guys some uh, war destinations. Maybe we'll try doing that, and we'll see what happens. Uh, the northern colonies, we could maybe sick after um, the stronger of these two armies here. We probably want peace. Forget it. We will destroy you, Scaling. Oh, no. They're united against us. 
Boo hoo hoo. Um, the Pirates of Sartosa. They are our allies. Where'd they go here? Um, these guys. <laughs> these guys really like us. That's funny. Who calls? Okay, let's give them a war coordination target. Now, oddly enough, they have territory like up over here. What is that about? I like I'm so confused by that. Where do they have strong forces? Maybe we can send them after this or maybe after the alt the altar of ultimate darkness. Now, uh, you know what? We'll send them after this minor settlement. Yes. Uh, these fellows here we're going to ask them to wipe out the uh, stronger of these two fleets. Okay. Command me. Starting out. Belashane's going to take to the seas. Across the waves. And we're pretty much just going to come like straight up and we're going to land over here so that we can kind of like help reinforce these three settlements. Although it does look like uh, well that's a capital. Um, this one does not have walls. So this army could... It's Malekith. They will most likely come down here and take that. Most likely. We've got some uh, building we can do. we got 136,000. We're going to go ahead. We're going to do this. Oh, I'm not taxing over here? Why not? Yeah, it gets us an extra uh, 900. We're going to go ahead. We're going to build this. Building browser for the mirror pool of Tepak. I don't think we even need this at all. So we're going to go with trinkets and income from trade and income from all ports, which this settlement doesn't have, I don't think. But I do want the income from trade. Okay. Uh, get out of here. I don't need help. Kingdom of Beasts. Okay, we're going to upgrade the capital. And then that will allow us to upgrade the growth building and build another public order building. And it may be enough where we can get out of here. We're getting uh, 12 from characters and military presence. We need to get out of this uh, little area, though. I can't recruit any heroes over here. Um, it might be a good idea... If I can recruit a hero in any of these cells. I can get a lore master over here. Lore masters. Um, oh, they spread public order. So maybe we'll grab this guy. And we'll go ahead and do it. Do. That's as much as we could do, huh? Well, that's fine. How many more points? Five. Others sing their praises. Uh, that's all we can really give this guy, and uh, we need to rename him. And so we're going to move him down over there, and that may help us get um, that army out of here a little bit sooner if we do that. So. Ron, you can move, yes. Yes, you can. Goody. Can I get... Can I get onto the shore right here this turn? Ah, it looks like I can. Okay, good. Now, over here, our agents can uh, can do nothing against this army here. So let's just assault units again. You have my attention. Can we get the mage? We'll make an attempt. Oh, no, no, no. With, no. with this guy, will we'll secure guarded. influence. Successful. Honorable and true. And then our mage, which is in here somewhere, will go ahead. We'll block our. They shall know suffering. And as much as possible, we just want to prevent these guys from going anywhere. Now the mirror pool of Tepok. We do have a bit of a garrison here. Uh, we do have this guy and. He can hinder replenishment. He can't really do yes. much to them. Okay, uh, Belashane, or Mayron. Mayron is no longer taking attrition. Good. 
So what we want to do is we want to come up to like right here. 70% ambush chance. <gasps> oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. And then techless. Oh no, we need techless right here. Oh man, are they able to reinforce each other? Oh, it's so close. I, I don't think they can reinforce each other. Okay, we need to pull back. Um, okay, we still got we still got seventy percent ambush chance. Uh, now they're in reinforcement range, and we are in an ambush stance. So, oh gosh, one of these armies, if we're lucky, is going to blunder into an ambush um, right when they move. Unless, of course, we can get there on this turn and do an actual assault. Foolish request. Foolish request. Uh, you know, I think I'd rather fight the defensive battle and hope for the ambush to trigger. It's a um, it's a small percentage of uh, it's a small chance of success, but if it works out that way, we'll be able to wipe out a whole stack. And then instead of two stacks versus three stacks, it'll be two stacks versus two stacks. So, oh boys. We're going to get some action up there. That's going to be the action for the episode. <laughs> I am a little bit nervous about uh, how it's going to go if um, if Mayron's ambush is going to be foiled. And then um, the other big gamble, which I didn't check, is if any of those Dark Elf Lords have Lightning Strike. Um, it, it could be a tough situation. So we'll just see what happens. And I'll tell you, Nagaron wasted no time building those forces back up. All right, we got we got two hands with fingers crossed. It's gonna happen. Come on, don't lose your ambush icon. Oh no, they wounded our our lore master. Oh. Okay, they they found us. Shoot. We lost our lore master. Uh, we still have one. We are going to fight this. We are going to fight this. It's a, um, you know, it's a pretty standard map. We have the high ground, it looks like. There's no choke points. Um, they don't have any large monsters. They don't have any large monsters. And they don't have any really strong cavalry either. They have some cavalry, but it's not it's not great cavalry. So I think I think we got this. I think we'll have this in the bag if we can play it smart. And use our abilities in the correct order, which is <laughs> this is the first battle I've fought in like a week and a half thereabouts. So I'm sure I will not play it perfectly. Uh, we'll probably suffer some fair amount of casualties here. And they do outnumber us. Now, thankfully. Our reinforcements are coming in um, on our side. Oh, boy. Okay, so let's get a good look at the terrain here. We want to get our eagle claws up like this. We will go ahead and gamble. Give me the goods. Oh, yeah, plus two. <laughs> oh, man. Now, this is Mayron's force. Okay. So, what do we got here? We, now, if I can remember to cast it, we are going to want to use this missile resistance thing because they have a lot of firepower. They get a lot of firepower. And what are the special goodies that we get with these guys? They got ward saves 5%, physical resistance 30. So, do we want Phoenix Guard to form our, um, our front line? Or do we want to go like Phoenix Guard, Swordmasters, Phoenix Guard, Swordmasters, Phoenix Guard, Swordmasters, Phoenix Guard. Okay, because Teclas' army has a, a good chunk of missile units in it. Uh, so how do we want to deploy these? Maybe about like that. 
And then we want to take the Swordmaster units and just kind of scooch them back a little bit. So the Phoenix Guard take the first hits. I don't know. Okay, and then we're going to deploy some Swordmasters up here. They'll be hidden. And we're going to go ahead and put our Dragon Princes there. Here and here. Now, I have a feeling that the AI is going to spend a good amount of time kind of like gathering up its forces okay we got some stuff with him and then this guy here now uh, where's his ability so i'm thinking maybe we want this guy like in here and we want to charge him in with the sword man oh gosh i want the phoenix guard to absorb absorb the charge because they got the expert defense so maybe we'll do like that and we'll put this person here. Dragon princes. Oh, then what do we got there? We got two units of Lothern Sea Guard. We'll go ahead. We'll put these guys here. And here, they'll kind of back each other up. Overlapping firing arcs. All right, here we go. We're going to kind of cruise forward with this guy. I can't remember if he's got any special... Um, like missile defense or anything like that. Okay, we got more sword masters. We'll set them over here. And then all these Lather and Sea Guard, of which there are plenty. We're gonna cruise up here. We'll move the mage forward a little bit. And then we have our archers. And hopefully the archers We'll have good firing arcs. We're going to go ahead and turn on the uh, multi-shot here. I'm going to set my dragons above, and the Frostheart Phoenixes will kind of go behind like this. And then we want to set these guys up here, I believe, as um, a melee group. And when they charge in, we kind of want to use uh, his little ability here. Although it's really going to only affect these ones. Uh, let's see what else. We'll make these guys a group six. And then these two will be a group seven. All right. Let's go see. Oh, what is this over here? These are the lords. Oh, boy. We got two lords. I don't know that this guy is strong enough to knock them out on his own. Okay, they do have a. How did I? How did I not notice this? And that's another lord. So they they do have three dragons. It's with their lords. All right, Teclas, what do you got here? That was gonna be tough. That was gonna be really tough. Okay, so they're they're coming towards us. We might want our bolt throwers to be um, a single shot targeting uh, their lords. I'm just not sure. At once. It would be nice if we could knock out the uh, Reaper bolt thrower. But I am a little bit nervous about letting this guy get too far away from uh, all of his reinforcements. Like if he gets if he gets caught up in here with the lords and all the missile fire, it, it could be bad for him. All right, come down here and crush this. Oh, and I hate the fact that. The camera's not letting me, like, stay close to him. Come on. Let's knock out their bolt thrower. And it looks like the AI is going to let this thing get sacrificed. And we can heal him when he gets back over, because we do have the other uh, nice single target regeneration on both that, that Lord and Teclas. Okay. Now, one other thing that we really want to try to do is we want to get the nets cast on their lords. And we're going to ignore this uh, paltry missile fire. 
Okay, we've done enough damage there with him. So we can kind of uh, just get him cruising this way. And we'll go ahead and we'll hit the speed and vigor. It's going to take him about a minute to get back here anyways. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and come out here with these two units. Okay, our bolt throwers. Let's target the actual general. Okay, and so we want to, like, just get this guy come back up this way. All right, Teclas. This is where your nets. We want to get these guys right in our firing arc. Come on. Okay, they're going to waste their breaths. We'll be able to heal this guy. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. They're going to use their other breath attack. Where is their other dragon? All right, here it is. Oh, okay, both dragons are right here. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, I've clicked on this now multiple times. Teclas, where are your nets? What are you doing, you dummy? Teclas is way in the freaking back. I forgot to move him over here. Holy crap. All right, well. Gosh darn it. You want to talk about, like, boneheaded maneuvers. I forgot Teclas. Shoot. Okay, well, let's, uh... Okay, well, now they're dead. Okay, they landed. They've knocked out our bolt throwers. Okay, now let's uh, get these guys up here. And let's get these two. Come on. Up over here. We're going to go thin here. We're going to hit these guys. Okay, now what is behind us? Is this Teclas here? Get over here, you big dummy. Pop our potion. And we're going to knock out their lords here. Holy moly, our dragon princes are doing bad. Come on, Teclas. Uh, where's our lore master? Or her. Go ahead and pop this down here. I'm, I'm clicking on the banner. God dang it. Okay, good. We killed it. Kill this one. Teclas, can we lock this guy in place? Don't let it get away. We're gonna come down right here. We're gonna come down here on the executioners. Hit these guys in the flanks. And then we'll start picking apart all this stuff out here, all the terrible, terrible stuff that's melting us. Get those horsemen. We got a lord right here. Where are we taking too much damage? Over here. Come out with these guys. Okay, let's charge into the flank here. Okay, what are we fighting in here? This is going to hit our troops just a little bit. What can you do? Okay, we'll start uh, picking apart this over here. We'll go nail the shades. Okay. Bring over here this way. What group is this? Group six. All right, dragon princes are slaughtering the shades. This unit is like terribly depleted. Uh, we need to we need to get over here and shore up our units. We're gonna charge in here. Okay, where is our special swordmaster? Is he dead? Where's my swordmaster? Oh, he's over here. Uh, hey, bro, what you doing up there? Oh, my God. Smack those shades. Get in here. What's all this? Okay, good. All 
Oh, there's just so much going on. Uh, Techless. We got a huge clump of baddies over here. Okay, come on. Let's start collapsing down the line. Uh, War Machine. Let me get you guys back on your war machine. Should be like over here somewhere. Nah, I can't. Alright, Tech, let's, let's start cruising you this way. Uh, let's see. Oh man, we're getting melted over here. That's bad. Okay, let's go crash into these guys. Let's go crash in over here. What is that up there? Our troops haven't covered hidden stuff. This guy is just like way off by himself. He's ambitious. It shall be done. Get to all. Come on, melt them. Okay, she's going to charge in. <laughs> okay, now we're going to start crumbling all this stuff down here. Okay, we are totally going to win. Okay, let's start reforming up here. Let's get our Phoenix Guard. All of our Swordmasters grouped up here. And let's get our Dragon Princes back into the back. And let's just start crumbling everything. Uh, here we go. Here's some stuff that we can crush. Here's some stuff that we can crush. Uh, this guy... Uh, could you please finish coming over here? And you, please finish coming over here. Oh my god, he's getting he's getting wrecked. Get over here, you. Okay, let's get in here. Hello, dragon princes. Can you please come back up here? Come back up here. Come back up here. Okay, this guy is getting he's getting dominated. Ah, oh, he's he just fled. Jackass. Uh, our mage, let's see. Let's go drop that all in there. Okay, what is with the units stopping? Get over here. Gosh. They are constantly not doing everything that I've asked them to do. Okay, we're gonna get that. Five, four, three, two, one. This guy's almost dead. Get in here, you dummies. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop another one of these um, Flock of Dooms. And now, oh man, we need more healing. Totally forgot to you. What are you doing over there? Oh my gosh. Get back up in here. Ah, oh, he's gonna get nailed. Buff yourself, dude. Oh man, our swordmasters got shredded. Hey, where's our mage? Get over here, you dummy. Get the hell in here. Everybody in here. Teclas, where are you at? You get over here. You. Pop that. Okay. This guy's gonna die if he can't get his uh get his act together. I'll drop that over there. Oh my gosh. There we go. Some more stuff in here we can crush. And basically now we just want to keep all this stuff like clumped up and we want to keep the majority of missile fire and stuff on this over here. And if we could get this dummy over here. <laughs> ah, get over here, you moron. Okay, now we can kind of like 
you know, bring some of this stuff over. Uh, you know what? Mystify me, Asthma, for you guys. Okay, we're going to hit the uh, course here some more. Go ahead and give ourselves some buffs. Buffsies. Okay, now everything is just losing its morale, like, all at once. They're starting to crumble and flee. Which is what we really need to see happen here. Alright, do we have any of these war machines left? You know, honestly, that would have gone a lot better if I didn't leave Teclas, like, over here in the corner. The, the nets would have um, caused those lords to die right in the beginning. But, you know, leave it to me to goof that up. Okay, we need to get units in here. And we need to do some healing uh, while we're still on the map. Uh, where is... You finally made it, huh? Okay, we're gonna speed it up. Oh, man. It's a shame that the uh, the ambush didn't didn't work, but... Oh, well, what can you do? Uh, gather around the campfire, everybody. Uh, where... Am I gonna lose this whole unit? Because I don't see the war machine anymore on the field. Techless. Uh, not techless. We want. We want this. And this. And we may be able to drop a little bit more of this. It's going to get some of our health up, not all of it. Unfortunately. And. Okay, we got a little bit more time. If we can get up to eight, we can get an overcast version of it drop down again. And it looks like we're gonna get there. It's gonna be close. Come on, come on. One more, one more point. That's all we need, one point. Seriously, you're not gonna give it to me? Master of the White Tower. They're not gonna give it to me. Uh, how far away are you guys? Okay, we still got some time. There we go, eight. Okay, so we'll drop it again. And... Uh, can we get one more? Can we get four wins of magic? Let's see if we can get four wins of magic. One. Four wins of magic would let us drop it one more time. Two. We're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. Three. Ah, we're not gonna get there, are we? One power every three minutes. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, we did our best. We did manage to kill um, 3,000 out of about 4,600 uh, Dark Elves. So not bad. Uh, according to this, we didn't lose any units. So again, not bad. And we're going to have a chance for a counterattack. Uh, not... Not this episode, but in the uh, in the next one during our turn. So how does it look? They lost their they lost all their lords, <laughs> which means they'll just get new lords. Um, and they lost all of their real heavy and dangerous uh, infantry, most of it. So they're down to like missile units. Okay, good. And it's a real shame that they managed to wound our one lore master. That that kind of sucked. Oh, and they are going to come push their advantage over there. So it kind of puts us in a tricky spot with how we're going to handle them.
Oh, yeah, yeah, we don't need to see uh, what they're doing. All right, so they managed to wound our hero. Pisses me off. Ruined his uh, ambush. We got the opal amulet. Okay, so what does this look like? No limit to my power. What did Teclas lose? Uh, it looks like maybe he lost the unit of Swordmasters and then the uh, the hero, the Loremaster guy. Teclas, high Loremaster. And then over here, ouch. Uh, we still got a full army. Foolish request. No. Unthinkable. We can probably push in here and crush them, but... Mm. Uh, I don't know. We got these guys coming in over here. Uh, what are we going to need to do here? Let's go ahead and move these guys this way. I think we could squeeze in like one more uh, quick turn. Never short sighted. Okay, so we've we've slowed this army down enough. Protect and so now what we need to do is we need to start cruising around this way because they're going to come over here. They're going to land and they're going to try to hit this uh, city. Yes, that's what it looks like to me. Defender of the Ever Queen. My infinite knowledge is yours. Now I think our best maneuver here. is to maybe just get up in their faces. Can we do this with just Teclas? Short sighted. Your master. Foolish request. Denied. You know, I think we can. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna fight this with just Teclas. We're gonna leave uh, Mayron out of it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna cause them to not run away. <laughs> I was wrong. All right, let's see. How much movement does it take to get all the way up there? Okay, come on. Okay. Okay, they're fighting it. Oh, we could lightning strike. Ooh. I didn't know Teclas had that. Um, okay, we're going to fight it. This is going to cause us to take a few extra casualties than like we otherwise would, but... Um, it's going to allow us to basically wipe out two armies. And then Teclas still has 50% movement range, so we can go into an encampment stance and replenish. We're not going to gamble. We're going to kind of like come from up here. And I am not going to think very, uh, very much about how I'm like deploying my lines, except maybe... Pull the archers back just slightly. Teclas here. Master of the hey, here we go. I approve. Now we outrange them with our missile units. Now, what is this? Harpies? Who cares about harpies? In fact, we could we could pretty much just go crush the harpies right now. Now, the one thing we have to be careful of with Teclas is we do not have a um, like an AOE heal. We've only got single target heal. None can comprehend my you guys, walk power. faster, please. Okay, you know what? We're going to cruise those guys down this way. And then the rest of our force. Yes. We'll kind of cruise it over this way. And so what we'll do is we'll use these guys to kind of get them focused over here. And then we'll just kind of like uh, go down the line over here. And I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to charge into the, um, the repeater crossbows. Chosen a poet. 
Now before we land, get our breath attacks in here. They're all missile units. Okay, now that's gonna get them like all goofed up, like up here. And then these guys are gonna have a, a nice field day with them here. Okay, Teclas. We're gonna wanna net the chariot. Destroy the chariot. Destroy the chariot. Destroy the chariot. Yeah, let's cruise back here, kind of stay out of that way and keep their missile fire turned on us. There goes the chariot. We got shades. Okay, they got a repeater bolt thrower in here. Uh, really hurting us. Really hurting us. So now we need to get in the air. Looks like these guys will be up first. Get on the repeater. It will be done. We will obey. And just bit by bit, take all this stuff apart. It will be done. Oops. I accidentally clicked out the uh, the game window. Okay, that's going to take care of the bolt thrower, which is, gosh, it's hurting us. We're taking too many casualties here on these two units. They got their murderous prowers. We're not going to let these uh, melee guys here get into uh, contact with us. These things here are still taking no damage, so we're good. These guys are losing. Let's get Teclas over here. we got to knock out their lord. Oh. Okay, one of our dragons, both of our dragons are actually uh, taking too much damage now. We'll do single target heal, single target heal. Okay. Let's go hit the uh, Reaper Bolt Thrower over here. We still got them all tied up. We want to stop the Corsairs from doing anything at all to us. And we'll keep our dragons on their Lord. And yeah, we're going to pull back with this unit. God, our units are getting so smashed. Okay, we're starting to lose these things down here, so let's get the uh, dragons down there. Okay, and then... Alright, come on, Teclas. Okay, we're fighting another lord down here. We're gonna boost our dragon. We're just gonna send the um, fiery convocation straight up the middle. There's really not much point trying to be more clever with it. It'll it'll do a fair amount of damage. Uh, this guy's gonna end up coming back. Oh no, he's shattered. He's shattered. Okay, good. We've almost got this lord out of here. Uh, Teclas, you gonna drop that heal or what? Okay, now Teclas is taking all the uh, damage. They get more stuff, getting shattered. Good. Uh, we just killed the enemy lord. This one's going to make it off the field. Okay, good. Uh, did we lose a full unit? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. So we're okay. We're still okay. Man, those Reaper Bolt Throwers, they... So much damage. 13% replenishment. We are going to take that, of course. We've wiped out one. This one's incredibly weak. This one here still poses a threat. Um, it's going to take too much movement range to get over there. We'll be suffering attrition. 
So Check. now we're going to set up into an in-camp. We're going to be in this stance for a couple turns at least. So... Hmm. Four turns seems like too much. Protector of Elfland. Arya. Let's see. Is he gonna fight? Oh boy. Hmm. Their deaths are necessary. The Asa follow strength. A strong leader is needed. Alright, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try this. Um, I am a little nervous about it because we are awfully weak. Uh, if we can kill their lord quickly... And wipe out their their missile cav. Eagle Claw. Okay, so here's how we're gonna deploy for this one. We're gonna set these here. This is our expert charge defense. Not looking so strong. Swordmaster of Hoeth. Orders received. Swordmaster's right in front. Swordmaster's behind because the harpies are going to come in here and try to uh, hit us right in here. Swordmaster of Perth, Dragon Princess. And we'll get all three of these Swordmaster units right here to, As you say. to protect this. Okay, so that's going to protect that there. Dragon princes. And then these units of Dragon Princes, um, you know, they're going to hang out over here. guys are so depleted. Okay, we're gonna let our heroes soak up the fire, and Mayron, you're just gonna go get mixed in there right now, buddy. <laughs> Eagle claw. Okay, so we want to be shooting the Dark Riders. We want to take away their missile advantage and force them into a melee, where we can kind of get a surround on them, and then keep using the AoE heal to keep Reach ourselves strong. Aaron's taking a, a little bit of damage. Let's go get on their lord. It's one of the weaker uh, sword and crossbow lords. And fire at these here. Oh boy. Okay, it looks rather neutral. So let's get in the air. Okay, those guys just got locked in place. Okay, we need to get over here with Mayron. Uh, we'll do speed and vigor. There's the other um, Dark Riders with crossbows. There they are. All right, Mayron, we're going to pop your potion. Okay, so this guy's just slammed in there. They will most likely come back. And he just popped down right there. We're going to go ahead and boost him up. These guys are dying. Uh, what? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, get on the harpies now. And here we go. Okay. And no, 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 we need to pull these guys uh, back around this way. Get on there. Swordmasters of Hoeth. There's their lord. Can I hit her with that? Ah, oh, she's too far away for everything, just about. Uh, 
Come back this way. Come back this way. Ah, oh, no. We need that there. We need to hit these guys in the back here. Uh, we need some sword masters. These guys. Protect us over there. Let's slam into these guys here. Let's get down into here. Got our nice debuff right there. Get in here. Uh, where is... There we go. Okay, those things are all losing over there. Uh, we need to get some help over here. Get some buff over there. Okay, we're going to wait for the uh, Dragon Princes to get in here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, all that stuff's crumbling. All right, we got most of the Dragon Princes in on this heal. Am I not selecting them when I do the little draggy rectangle thingy? What the hell? <laughs> so stressful. So stressful. Here, just wiped out more. Let's uh, kill these things here. Dude, we're down to a single Dragon Prince over here. All right. Ooh. Stressful. Stressful. The Asa have come. No, oh, we've lost the unit of dragon princes. Darn it. Ah, but we have sent them like completely back on their heels. We can come right here, and we can replenish uh, a little bit. Oh, boy. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so <laughs> that that was some tough stuff over there. Let's go ahead. Let's super over. Let's pick this up. Better in battle, for sure. Physical resistance for 10 turns. Yes, please. Sailing on. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can make use of this. Oh, no. Mm. I hope she doesn't come over and, like, chase us away. Because I'm not going to do an auto-resolve at sea um, against that. That's not happening. No way. All right, what are we missing in here? We got all these goodies, all of these goodies, all of those goodies. Oh... Uh, Let's make this guy better. Oh, 10% weapon strength when fighting Dark Elves will be nice. Oh, we still got a full pile of movement with Varan. So what we'll do is we'll come this way. And the idea here... Oh, you didn't just go in the water, did you? Okay, the idea here is is if if this army, Elena's army, is strong enough to defeat this army, um, then this army can move in here and hammer hammer that settlement. And then these guys are just kind of moving to wherever we may need them to move to keep this army from getting away um, or anything like that. This is a black arc. Okay. You know, what else can we do? That's about it. All right, Lothern, do something nifty. Show us what you got. Okay, so they're setting up an ambush there. It's not a bad idea. That's terrible. Move north, please, and help fight Nagarond. Oh, boy. I don't know what this is going to look like for Bella Shane landing up in uh, Nagaron territory. It's going to be kind of tricky. Because they got a lot of forces. And he's got a tough army, especially with those two lore masters. But they're not invincible. 
Okay, so they came out of the water. They're laying siege at the mirror pool of Tepok. Hopefully we can get there in time to uh, reinforce and or maybe even block their movement with the with the agent so they can't escape. They just uh, destroyed their ambush. And now we've got a Nagaron forest down here in the, uh, in the desert, which is not good. All right, let's see what they do here. All right, good. So the fact that they're retreating means that they don't have a strong stack uh, anywhere nearby to really help them uh, recover territory. So, so we're in a pretty decent position. And we did ask these guys to go attack the stronger army. Maybe they'll do it. I doubt they will. And the Pirates of Sartosa, we asked them to attack the settlement up here. So I would kind of like to see what they're doing. Well, they're not doing what we asked this turn. <laughs> All right. Well, that is going to be it for this episode. When we come back, when we come back, we're going to be uh, trying to get these guys off our settlement here. Princess of the got turn, two turns of movement with her before she can get there. Two turns of movement with these guys. Unthinkable. So, like, if they attack, oh boy, there's a chance they could get it. Um, there's a chance they could get it from us. What have we built in here? Uh, it's not that great. It's m mostly growth, public order, and um, uh, the walls. Now, over here, we're looking a little bit better. We are a little bit light on our forces. We could and probably will come up here and just occupy Iron Spike to increase our replenishment and then maybe do some global recruitment and then we'll just bounce out of here really quick and um, knock these guys out. And then, of course, over here, over here, we've got Belashane is still heading north. Uh, these forces have continued to go north, so I think Belashane is going to be clear to make landfall somewhere on this island and then... Uh, move over the little land bridge here to get back onto the main continent and start reinforcing Lothern up there. And, but if we're lucky, if we're lucky, maybe Nagaran will be able to wrestle away like more of this territory, and then we'll be able to slowly start occupying Lothern for ourselves. Because, uh, you know, Lothern, or Ulthuan for ourselves. Lothern had the chance they screwed it all. That's in the next episode. We'll see you then. You have a good afternoon. Take care, and, well, see you next time.